What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So we got a little bit of a unique video for you guys today. If you haven't heard the way Tesla's handle YouTube, uh, Disney Plus, Hulu, all of these apps that are built on in the vehicle are not truly apps. They are all web-based and the Chromium backbone that Tesla uses, Google has updated and made some changes to. And giving Tesla the benefit of the doubt here, what this did is cause a significant decline in picture resolution for streaming services. Is this meant to help with, eight, they're cutting their costs with at and if you're on their LTE network, maybe, but it can't be a one and done because this actually, this video that we're gonna look at was done on our home Wi-Fi network and we are experiencing the same thing a lot of people are talking about. We found a workaround for at least showing YouTube at higher resolutions, uh, Disney Plus, Hulu, all that. No luck on that just yet. Stay tuned and we'll see. But if you guys don't know about this, like I said, Teslas do not technically run apps. They run shortcuts through browser extensions, basically, to the web version of whatever you're using. In this case, we're going to use YouTube as our example. So. Once you do that, once you click on the YouTube app, it takes you directly now into the mobile version, which looks completely different than what the original browser looked like. We'll go into all this. We'll show you the workaround. Thumbs up this video, subscribe to the channel. Let's get right in the vehicle. So when you go into your entertainment screen and then in theater, traditionally, when you jumped into any app, it would stream at the highest quality. You might need to select it in the options for the video quality, but traditionally it wasn't locked using YouTube, for instance, as you can see, we're on one of our videos here, and I'll even go back and do it from square one. This browser is actually now a mobile browser. This is not what it used to look like. And what it seems to be doing is if you go play a video and we'll go back into one of ours, it is now capping the, resol the resolution at 360p. No matter where you click, you can't edit anything here. You get a debug menu, okay, fine, but as far as changing the video quality, it is not editable. There are rumors, like I said earlier, is Tesla trying to reserve data bandwidth through their AT&T partnership they have? Well, that could be a scenario, and they're capping video for streaming at 360. I hope not, but we can't even use that as a warranted excuse here because we're on our home Wi-Fi network. So this should be streaming at a lot clearer resolution than what it is. Uh, honestly, this should be pulling in at 1080 minimum. And definitely, you can really see here, it is not getting that. It's not even legible from this other video. So there is a current workaround. It is not ideal at all. And I don't see a lot of people wanting to use it, but if you do watch YouTube quite a bit, I do wanna show you this so at least you guys are aware. Moving on from this, close out of the theater and go into the browser. If you open up your browser, you can use an embedded link for a YouTube video to pull in the desktop browser as you traditionally would, and you have the ability to edit your actual quality of your video. So you go to youtube.com. What you're gonna do, you're gonna type in the address youtube.com slash embed slash the actual video link itself. So F-I-G-M-Q-L-N-Z-0-A is the one for this that we just watched, if you actually click on it here, you can see right off the bat, the quality is great from this still image. When you go to play the video, it is now pulling in at HD down below here at 1440. So like I said, you have all of your available options and I hope it's coming through in the video clear enough, um, but this quality looks so much better than what we were just watching on the other browser crazy i hope it's a fluke google has or excuse me tesla has known to have issues with google's browser since it is a chrome backbone in the past especially for signing into youtube i'm not sure what's going on here i hope that it's just an oversight i hope something just changed on google's end and tesla needs to fix it it's just a bug fix that's needed but in its current form we're kind of screwed and this is what we're resorted to um if you click on another video link on the side in this browser, it defaults right back to the old mobile one. Can't change it. Um, yeah, it's very concerning and very strange that Google decided to do this or that Tesla decided to do this. Again, since everything here is browser based, since it's not based off of Tesla developing their own Netflix app or YouTube app or any of these, you can go into anything and you're going to have the same issue. 
Uh, I have to resign in here. I'm not going to worry about it or bore you in the video for it, but just know the video quality now has been substantially degraded. This does apply in your Model S or X refreshes to the back 8-inch display as well. So, very weird. Hopefully, this will be resolved soon, but I did just want to show you guys this as a temporary workaround to hopefully get you guys watching a little better quality video. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.